If you find yourself in a situation where you're looking to hide, hire a lawyer or an attorney, you sometimes can get bombarded with all of the marketing that we see these days. And what should you look for when hiring that person? Obviously, it's a big moment in your life and you want to make the best decision. Well, here to shed some light on this is our friend Brian Schrader, of course, from Schrader Law. Brian, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning, Natalie. It's good to see you. It is. People who are wanting to hire or needing to hire an attorney or a lawyer, that's a really big moment in their life. And of course, making that right decision is critical. But where do you begin when we're being, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot more advertising happening these days with legal, with legal firms. And where do you kind of point people? How do you point them in the right direction? Yeah, we are bombarded by billboards, TV ads, the radio, um, jingles, slogans, uh, and, and all of that for the most part is stuff that consumers can disregard. Um, first of all, there's no need for most consumers to hire some big law firm. Uh, those big law firms are best suited for defending insurance companies and defending large corporations because they need attorneys in every state and they need attorneys who can handle a lot of matters. For most consumers, be it personal injury, criminal defense, a single lawyer or a small law office uh, with a team of people is more than sufficient to handle their claims. They're gonna get better service, they're gonna get better attention. Uh, this is like going to the big box stores and shopping. Those stores don't care about each individual consumer's experience shopping with them. They care about if they can get 100,000 people through the door a day. That's their business model. And it's the same thing with law firms. Um, and another thing I'll tell you, when you see lawyers talking about the size of their law firm or the size of their settlements, you see some guy up there bragging about size and all of that. Uh, let me tell you, when a guy's talking about how big it is, you usually should plan to be disappointed. Uh, and that's just something that we've all learned in life, right? And so keep in mind that when you're hiring a law firm, you got to get somebody uh, who has experience, someone who's local, uh, and that's a key issue right now. We're seeing a ton of law firms coming into Tampa from out of town, and I think during COVID when courts were allowing attorneys to appear by Zoom and uh, by you know audio visual conferencing, a lot of lawyers started expanding their geographic area, but I can say from experience that if you're an attorney that's never stepped foot in a certain county's courthouse, when you walk into that courthouse for the first time, it sometimes feels like the first day you're practicing law. And if you don't have uh, the ability to, to rely on a local attorney or the ability to bring in a local counsel to help you get through the nuance of practice in that county, you could be really, really lost. And that especially applies to criminal defense matters. Uh, you need to have an attorney who's very familiar with the area, is very familiar with the prosecutors and the judges, uh, because that's going to be something that's going to be major uh, when it comes to getting you the best results uh, in an effective, efficient way. Well, I kind of want to expand on this a little bit because I'm fascinated. We are seeing the advertisements from out of the state, out of county, and you always make the joke you wouldn't want this to be your first day practicing law or even that vibe. What are some of those other things that really make it important to find local? And what is the best way to find a local attorney? Because again, that's not what you're seeing in a lot of these marketing advertisements that we were talking about. Well, the best way to find an attorney, and, and I can say it from as an an attorney, the best way for a client to find me is for someone to refer them, uh, someone to actually say my name, to know them, to know me and make the connection. And so if you have the ability to reach out to an attorney, even if it's not an attorney in the field you're looking for and say, hey, who do you recommend? Uh, is there someone here locally that you can connect me with? That's the number one best way to find an attorney that's going to be a good match for you. Uh, but what's important is you look both geographically and also in their practice areas. And it's really easy to sometimes do Google searches or you can go to Florida Bar and they have resources. Um, but anyway, you can try and zero in on attorneys who practice in your locality and practice in the areas you want to practice in. And, you know, keep in mind, you wouldn't hire a cardiologist to do brain surgery. Both doctors are very smart. Both doctors are very experienced, but they do different things. So you don't want to go to a family law attorney, uh, even if you have a relationship with that family law attorney for years and say, hey, will you represent me in my criminal defense case? Go find a criminal defense attorney. You know, it kind of with the same thing, I'm, I'm thinking of my situation personally, and we did like the family planning, the estate planning. And is this common? We actually spoke with a few different attorneys to see in that initial consultation who we flowed the best with. And that ultimately helped us make our decision. Is that something that attorneys are willing to do? See if it's a good fit for everybody before you start working forward? Most attorneys will allow for a free consultation when it comes to consumer matters. Some attorneys will charge a small fee for consultations, uh, but then that fee will be applied later to your actual retainer. But you need to find an attorney that you feel comfortable with. 
If you don't feel comfortable with your attorney, it doesn't matter if they do a great job. You're never going to feel satisfied with the results. You're always going to second guess it. You need to find someone you can trust and someone you can feel comfortable with because everything about your case is going to filter through that person and everything you hear about is going to come through them and you're going to need to make sure that you feel comfortable and trusting and and, and putting your life and your claims and, and your problems in their hands. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure glad we talked about this today because, again, it can be overwhelming. I'm assuming people at home have seen the uh, increase in ads as well. So just remembering, as you said, keep it local is key. Brian, thank you for that. And if you want to get in touch with Brian and talk with him, maybe that initial consultation, get his thoughts, see if it's a good fit. There's the website. There's the phone number so you can talk to Brian and his team today. Schrader Law. Thank you so much. Good to see you again.